In Texas, women pay $42 million more over a two-year period on essential things like feminine products. Now, we pay more because the state charges a sales tax for those things. But some people want to change that. They're part of, they're part of a movement, and they tell the night team's Patty Santos it's about equality. A sales tax is more expensive on people with lower incomes. Uh, the minimum wage in Texas is still $7.25. And the average cost of tampons is about $7 a box and going up with inflation. In certain families, when you have more people that are menstruating, uh, it's even a bigger cost. In Texas, medical supplies like bandages and wound dressing care are exempt from taxes. Andrea Elizondo, co-founder of Texas Menstrual Equity Coalition, is pushing for menstrual products to have the same sales tax exemption. It is hard for those of us that have resources to understand what it's really like to pinch pennies. But some families in Texas, and unfortunately too many of them, are in a position where they have to make choices about the limited funds that they have available. After three failed legislative attempts to repeal the tampon tax, HB 311 got a unanimous vote to move forward during the last legislative session. Author State Representative Donna Howard says because of scheduling, it didn't move forward, but her plans are to file the bill again in November. Though it's a small dent in the cost of the products, it still goes uh, uh, toward not discriminating for one thing, but also putting some, some money back into to people's pockets uh, because we have found that what has been labeled period poverty is a real issue. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.